Minnesota and Iowa are commemorating the histories and cultures of Native Americans as part of Indigenous Peoples Day. In Rochester, a community celebration marked the holiday downtown while also increasing cultural awareness. KIMT News 3's Evanberg takes us to Peace Plaza. Indigenous Peoples Day festivities have just wrapped up in Peace Plaza and dozens of people turned out today to witness some tribal cultures and dance. I just hope that this can keep going on in the future so everybody has awareness of you know, Native Americans and we're still here. Today's festivities featured speeches on the difficult road for Indigenous American culture to survive to the modern day, along with celebrating through traditional dance and drum performances from several different tribes, including Dakota and Ojibwe. I feel like I can feel my ancestors supporting me and all the other dancers here, and it's just a really strong and loving vibe. RPS students were among those invited to join the performers for the finale a group round dance, a way of allowing everyone to participate in Native culture. It's um, a really good feeling because, um, you know, the world's kind of opening up to the Indigenous People Day and it's more, um, uh, like, known now and it's more of a big deal. The event also featured a special guest appearance by City Council President Brooke Carlson to officially recognize the holiday here in the Med City. In Rochester, Evan Burke, KMT News 3. Indigenous Peoples Day is now celebrated on the second Monday in October instead of Columbus Day in around two dozen U.S. states.